What is up? Risk takers! Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. A daily show on the Kill Pete Strategy. A daily show on Free Pete, folks. You know it, you love it. We're going back into battle on Europe advanced progressive capitals i am in the third seat playing black we have a split russia which i would have had a great cap for what if i take it anyway split eastern europe hmm. anyone go back here nobody goes back here right I don't hate this cap at all. I think this is a great, great cap to start. You make the drawing tool a bit thinner. I think I'm going to cap here. Oh, yeah, I like that better. Very nice. Okay, so Europe, advanced progressive capitals, auto 60, expert, automated bot, fog on, blizz on, pulls off, lines off, and I am in position three. So we got a hard choke here, here, which creates a Denmark one point for the Scandi pocket and a London one point for the new corner. The rest of the map is pretty okay. And I think I'm going to take my intuition here. Six cap on Prussia. We don't see magenta cap. We don't see blue cap. Let's see if we see green. The green can take a really good Istanbul here. Europe advanced progressive capitals, folks. These are the risk meta settings. Yep, he does take the Istanbul. Purple goes in Gascony. And finally, yellow should be taking London. Yes. Okay, so we see everybody who caps after me. Uh, we don't see magenta, but hopefully we see them from the way they attack. These are... The risk man settings, okay. <laughs> Maybe he's just spending troops. If Magenta's behind me, I cry. If like this guy fucking noob capped up in the pocket or some shit. We don't see any of blue, do we? Someone has to have capped Denmark so they can take Scandinavia. Um ba bum ba bum. Okay. How about this? Does green want to be okay with me? Oh, okay. We find the magenta capital. They're not behind me. That's good news. I'm going to leave this shit wide open. And I'm going to gravitate this way and then ideally leverage those troops into this. Maybe that. So we have a split Russia by these two. So Russia is less likely to be held, but I don't think anyone is to the east of my cap. Particularly from seeing where Magenta plays, we would assume blue is here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and green goes back into Orient. So green and I are going to be show me. He's going to clean that pocket, though. He's going to take the, the black one right out of commission. Oh, no. Green? All right. <laughs> green is over extended into a position that he's not going to be able to do much with. So actually, I think I take, if this holds from agenda, I take this, and then I take all of that. <sighs> Maybe I do it sneakier than that. Maybe it's turn one, turn two, turn three, So I have the plus eight. And then I can hollow out the pocket. And then nobody's behind me? Yeah, yellow's finishing new corner. That's a great turn one. As long as Magenta doesn't break me. Which I don't think they will. I think Magenta will t is going to go like this. And finish that. North Africa. Yeah, he has plus six. So he doesn't have a bonus yet. going to spread east and west from the cap. This is great. Nobody's going to be up here. I'm going to get all of this 
all of this board and a plus eight with zero resistance, I'm pretty sure. And I'm only going to face resistance once I hold it. And everyone's going to be like, whoa, this guy's holding way too much board. Yeah, okay, blue took Denmark. All right, so we have this board mapped. Cool. All right, so Spheres of Influence are going to be green, who's going to abut magenta. Uh, purple is going to take this, and then also abut magenta. Nobody has Italy yet. Yellow's taking noob corner, and blue has the Denmark pocket. Now, okay, blue's in Italy. Cool. Why is blue attacking if he's in Italy? Oh, maybe he doesn't have Denmark. Maybe he took Italy. What did blue start with? 10 troops? Okay, blue is in Italy. Cool. Let's say thanks to all the people. Blue says thanks. I love you. I love you you guys are going to enable my bullshit <laughs> all right does green break <laughs> he doesn't green's hollowing out yes but he is going to take that one so i won't have russia fair enough no worries i don't need russia i just want all that board however green's gonna be off bonus so at some point they butt magenta or they go bad to me but i don't actually need this even though i started here because i've banked all the troops that i generated with it Towards my actual target, which is this. So I like this. I'm going to be in the eastern, northeastern position. Um, we have all the capitals mapped. So this is me. This is green. This is magenta. This is blue. This is purple. And this is yellow. And the quicker I can hollow out the pocket behind me, the better. I don't want people start at the Brandy to put troops back there. I like this board. Don't fuck it up, Pete. <laughs> With your natural greed. <laughs> you greedy, greedy man. Okay, turn three. Magenta holds Africa now? Yes, they do. Okay. And now they're facing off against Green and Orient. Yeah. Magenta doesn't yet know where Green's capital is, so Green's not going to like that. Green might go through me to try and address, but then they'll face Magenta's capital. Well, green is the biggest loser here. They probably do go through me. So this is the last turn I expect to hold um, Southeastern Europe. And that's fine because I'm taking the position I actually want to take. And I want to let Green and Magenta hit each other. So Magenta knows I took that. Yeah, Green goes right through me. And stops. Maybe he takes that bonus for himself. Or does he take all of me? Oh, he breaks the shit out of me? <laughs> You're dumb. You're gonna get fucked up. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. Magenta's gonna fuck you up, dude. <laughs> Magenta's gonna fuck up your shit so hard. You have no idea what's coming for you. Oh, no. I don't hate that. I was kind of expecting one break. Didn't expect the other, but that's a nice tell. That's a nice tell from Green that says, I'm going to not be friendly to you. Uh, purple starts with 15. Yeah, so purple's also really strong. Someone's going to have to deal with that. And yellow. Yeah, did yellow move into Scandinavia? No one's in Scandinavia. I could take that for myself. Let's see what it actually holds. I think it's smarter for me to do this two point. Yeah, just guard this two point. It, it holds a plus eight and a bunch of extra board. Um, that's how I'm going to play this. Yeah. Turn four. Unless Magenta breaks a plus eight. Magenta continues to work on Orient, I figure. And green won't further advance into me because green... Did their break, so they did their due diligence. I respect that. Yeah, blue's not going to break. Blue's getting 13. I figure blue and purple are natural enemies. Does green go for the steel on Dark Alps? Green's just guarding Italy.
Great. Love this. Great. Okay. So. Now nobody's behind me. Good. Two point. Green will try to get in. No, Green tries to steal a bonus for himself. I'm not letting you hold shit. You can break me, fuck you. Yeah, you can break me. Fuck you. I can pressure you till you die. That's a play. <laughs> that's a line of play that's possible. Uh, maybe I don't pressure him till he dies. Maybe I feel scanty here. I don't think anyone has it yet. I mean, that's a bit greedy, but who cares? It'll help me map out this board. Purple's getting 11. So Fran Purple doesn't hold France. Purple only holds Spain. Yellow only holds Noob Corner. Yellow breaks blue, finds blue's capital. Good. Turn five. The ultimate turn of the early game before the sets start to come in. Magenta did hold Africa. Yep. Okay. And Magenta is not yet at war with green, but they will be soon. Maybe I'm trying to play nice with green, actually. They don't feel the need to... Slam into Pete. Blue gets nine. So blue blue has Scandi now. Okay. I don't think I want to piss blue off. I just take the Dark Alps back. And I see and I see what green does about that. Don't break green. Green now understands the situation, I figure, with magenta. Yeah. Yeah, so he doesn't go any further than that. And I don't want to piss off blue either, so I figure blue has this. I'll go take a look at some point. Blue definitely has this. This is all yellow. This is purple. This is where yellow, blue, and purple are trading, as is this. This is all magenta. This is all green. And this is where... Magenta and green are trading. So I see this board. I see what's happening. I understand who's who, but nobody's fucked up royally. I actually really like what green did. I was expecting a single break. I got a double break, but it didn't sink me because I didn't guard that at all. I used those early troop generations. I put them on my capital. I used them to take and clean out the position behind me that I'm now guarding on a two point, which is, this is beautiful. Two point guard on the plus eight in most of Russia. Love that. Okay. So, uh, Magenta says gets the four. Let's see what happens. They're holding Africa. Yeah. Magenta sets gets the four. Digging detective. I can dig it. I can definitely dig it. I want to see who gets into a war with who. He doesn't, Jen doesn't know what to do. Okay. One attack. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all. Man, maybe it was a mistake to let green fold. Blue takes the six. I get the eight. Just make sure. Why don't we try and, you know, activate green mode? There's blue. Hmm. Oh. 
See, I already knew that Green was guarding Scandi. He's guarding with a six. I'm not trying to piss Blue off. Um, I actually exist mostly at the pleasure of Blue at the moment because his capital is only is 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 fully open to me. Now he wouldn't get very far, right? He'd have to push through nine and twenty, and then he wouldn't have any cavalry troops. But he doesn't know that. Green sets gets the ten. Yeah, green and magenta are going to be fighting over this for a while. Okay, and purple gets eleven. Yeah, we need to make a kill though. Someone needs to die here. If someone doesn't die soon, we're going to be in a five-player game. That stalemates. Well, that could be okay. I don't want it to. I want to kind of leverage. My, I should have just fucking pressured green, I think. We can still do that. No need to let green have a bonus, I think. I think we, we break green here. Okay. Hell's gonna break me too? No, just blue. That's the second break on blue we've seen from yellow. Okay, magenta. Need to know what magenta's are getting. Nine troops, okay, so they still have Africa. Getting hard. taking Orient or are they taking the other Africa? Hopefully we see blue retaliate into yellow. Or we see him think for the majority of his turn. Either way. Yeah, put troops on his capital. Okay. And that is friendly to blue. That's very friendly to blue, in fact. I think this is green retaliate on magenta, or is this green finally taking Orient? Cool. Everyone going to four cards. It's interesting. We have a stable game. Purple's kind of stuck in a pocket. Red is forced to trade with... I mean, red can hit Netherlands, I guess. Yeah, he's going to hit Netherlands. Yes. All right, well, I'll break that up, too. Me letting blue hold Scandi, uh, Scandi is um, part of my play to get him to be antagonistic with yellow, right? Because his cap is open to me, he can just sue out into me, which I don't want to happen. And he got broken on the bottom. Okay, so blue setting to deal with that. We'll keep 15 guards. 41 on cap and 25 secret stack to guard my plus eight, which is the only bonus that I need. Um, now I'm just playing it super greedy. I'm, I'm being friendly to blue, being friendly to green, and now I'm out of cards. So my next card will break somebody. Um, I don't think I break blue. I think I break green. My next card is Romania, I think. Okay, purple's been broken hard. I think magenta expanded aggressively on the bottom of the map. They second the 25. Maybe yellow sets to break me, but 
they don't get very far if they do. They have to run through 115 for a break. You can go through blue, I guess. But if you're going to do that, you might as well just take your card. Yeah, everyone's starting to get scared of Pete, I think. Oh, no! Okay, well, you don't get deeper than that. <laughs> you don't get anywhere. <laughs> you don't get anywhere deeper than that, sir. Yeah. All right, Magenta gets a 30. Green sitting on five cards. I'd love to know how many troops Green has on their capital. I mean, I could check. I don't know that's worth it because they're sitting on five cards, but I could kill Green. That'd be so sweet. What am I holding? I might as well check. I might as well check Green. I figure... Make sure you can't get in. That directs you to the left? Yes, that directs you to the left. Oh, you'd like Daenerys Alps? No. Yes, that directs you to the left! Yes! All right, and he opens up yellow. Okay, good. Green sees that side of the board and pisses off four people. <laughs> yeah! Everyone hates your guts now. Perfect. I'm big, but... I'm not leveraging my advantage enough into kills. So it actually looks like this game stabilizes with all players alive. That I don't like. Yeah, you know, it's 45. Are they going into purple? A big, big stack. Does y'all want to spend their entire game to break me? Yes, they do. Yes, they do, folks. Okay. They're going to go up into. Ah, blue's there. Do they keep hitting? They do. Yes. Okay. So yellow and blue are fully antagonized now. Yeah. Yellow and blue are fully, fully antagonized. I can let that war continue. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Perfect. Genetic 17 tells me that they have this now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Those 21 territories. Some of this and some of this. Hmm. Purple's probably on the ropes then. What's blue getting? Nothing, right? Yeah. Blue has to go into yellow here. Doesn't hit the stack. There's an off cap stack there. How big is it? I don't care. Yellow successfully steals a bonus from blue. I don't think green can just pressure me. Green has his own problems. This board might stabilize like this. If I'm blue, I'm going to set and break that stack. Ah, green still exists in France. Yeah, no kill survival. Kills are probably off the table at this point. Let me play the waiting game. Huh. Yellow got away with that steal. I think that lasts only until blue has a trade. And we're going to see that. We're going to see that trade go in to, to take back a plus three. 
Maybe we don't. Maybe Blue's good. I actually get the vibe that Blue's good, so maybe we don't see that. But, I mean, that would be sort of the, the base level of the logic. It's a 60 stack, you greedy, greedy man. I don't trade on four, so I can't really do anything. Yeah, Blue's definitely not going to spend 60 troops to, to take back a plus three. No, no, even if he was a noob, you don't do that. At least my, seven, my 80 stack here is guarding a plus eight. It's guarding a plus three. And also these ancillary territories that make up almost all of a plus seven. But now Magenta's getting bit in the bottom. Okay, Purple's laughing. So, Purple says good luck in the sense that Magenta's trying to kill them? I'm surprised that Magenta and Green didn't go at it. Okay, blue breaks. Ah, that 13 is in the wrong place. Because that blocks... Blue doesn't have an open line, so that actually blocks Blue from going up in two. He's not going to do that. Okay. Green just connects here. Green on four cards disconnects. That is heartbreaking. No, they thought a lot, but they're taking a card on magenta. I would assume. Okay. Roll of a trade. If they do, that goes into magenta. I figure. Curious to see if yellow trades. Yeah. Purple's beating the shit out of Magenta. Yeah. Good. I like that. Okay, oh, still gets 13. Do they trade here? I don't think they do. I think yellow might be the best player in this game. Yeah. Takes a card. Extend your one point. Sit there with 66 troops. Oh no. Okay. Locks the stack off a bit. Well, at least he's done antagonizing blue. So now the pressure between uh, blue and yellow simmers back down. I don't actually know what blue does. Does Blue know that going this way leads him into a dead end? You can't get through either of those capitals. Magenta's retaliating on purple. How hard? Well, only on two cards, or else they'd be a little fish, yeah? Yeah, super curious to see what Blue does. just to break in France? No, he's going to take a look. Yeah, it's still 60 troops. <laughs> it's still a 60 stack. Oh, 138. All right, we're going in to take a look. We're going in on a friendly line. I just want to see the size of purple. What was a 71 cap? Okay. Well, Magenta hasn't fucked with them enough. My cap is Lorsch. Man, I, I probably could have broken yellow there. Fuck. Yeah, I can command a giant amount of troops right now. Green says thanks. But what? Where are you going? Oh, he is out of cards. He says thanks because he's out of cards. That's cool. Don't hit my fucking 13. What the fuck? You dolt. All right, so green's an easy card block from my side. Yeah, 
Green's a very easy card block from my side. Why are you hitting so much stuff? I'm going to say good game to green. Because now I understand how easy it is to card block. Magenta would have to help, though. Okay, yellow takes the 75 trade here. I am reduced to my core territories, which generates uh, 14 is 4, 5, 6, plus 8. Uh, 14. I get 14 to turn... As long as nobody gets behind me, which is fine. Let me get a lot more than that for much of the game. All right, 116 stack. Dude, yellow is over committing to the Denmark position by a lot. So their cap is weak. Does Magenta hold? Yeah, Magenta still holds a ton. Green's not willing to break magenta, but they're willing to break me. Interesting sit you find yourself in green. Let's see how it works out for you. I'll give you a card, but it's in your bonus. Blue's laughing because he's Blue is saying a lot of things. Zero caps have switched this game. Everyone is still alive. And we're in the third set. Oh, no, no, no cap switched. Whose cap did he take? Whose cap did he take? Fuck, I don't know which way he went. We can find out. Yeah, he went into... Ha. Huh. Ha, he went into yellow. <laughs> Blue is so happy. Now, does this mean that Blue has no troops on his ridge? Yeah, that means that Blue has no troops on his ridge cap. So I'm going to take it. board position is fucking great. Yep, green gets cards on me. And stops, right? You're, I'm not going to let you go anywhere, dude. <laughs> Stop. I'm not going to let you. You keep fucking with me. I'm going to make you die too, you dumb shit. I, I think green is fucked. I'm surprised green didn't get lowest. Okay, purple sets here. Is that to resist magenta? It looks like it is. Dude, I love the... I think this is an upgrade for blue. And from yellow seat, it would... I, if I was yellow, I would totally report us for collab. So you saw how I read this board, right? You, the viewer, watched me figure out. So I had the line to go... I didn't know whose cap he was stealing. I had the line to go here to check if it was yellow, to check if it was purple, and then check if it was magenta, right? And I wanted, and I went on that line for that reason, because then I thought, oh, that means I have the yellow kill. And if I was yellow, I'd be like, how the fuck did they know that without cheating? That's how. I saw it. I saw it happen. I saw enough happen um, to be able to make an educated guess that that was, that was a yellow kill, right? But I can totally, I can totally see a report from that. <laughs> it was too perfect, right? Yellow went from hero to zero in, in one fucking turn. And like the other thing too about yellow, he overcommitted, right? You shouldn't have this guarding a plus three be your majority position. You stole it from blue. Okay. How many turns will it take for that to generate you a hundred troops, which is what you lost and the, and the game to boot. Um.
Let's make our caps big. Oh, whoops. I'm in a fantastic forward position. Ooh, he's not setting. Dude, stop. No, I can't make you stop. Um, when you're on five cards, so I'll have to make you stop in a minute. Magenta and I also haven't impacted each other yet. I can stop Magenta easily. Choosing not to. Does Magenta suck? Maybe I'm enabling someone who's shitty to be way too big. That actually can work in my favor. All right, I'm going to let Blue hold Dinaric Alps on this turn, on this turn, strictly so that he doesn't set and punch my 70. But what a board. 14 he gets. If you break me here, I try to card block you. If you break me any further, you prick, I try to card block you. I didn't want that set going into me right now, though. No, you're not. Oh, he's exploring. Back to cap. Cool. Fine. That's your card. Nah. No card. No card. I don't need to give you cards. Take him off of Take him off. Oh, he's got a set. Take him off of Magenta, you fuck. Lucky he had a fucking set, I tell ya. Well, now he gets in the pocket. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, now he gets in the pocket. Okay. That's fine. Now he's card blocked. All you needed to do to have me not have this idea green is you needed to hit me less. When you were card blocked or nearly card blocked and you took more than one card to try and get on the other side of the board, that pissed me off. So now I insist on card blocking.
Yeah, and blue and purple are going to trade now. Cool. Mm-hmm. Surely blue doesn't go bad to me here. Set is 115. Let the table know that I'm card blocking this guy. No set forthcoming. You shall not enter from that way. You will have to take cards on Magenta. He can't. Yeah. All right. That's to say everyone knows that you're card blocked. If I'm green, I bought here. I don't bought, but if I'm a noob like green, I bought here. Because it would give me a higher placement. Ooh, Magenta got broken. Horde. Okay. That means Magenta can't hold a card block anymore. Yeah. Green is happy about that. Green gave up a whole trade, pushing through an 80 stack of mine. Blue's going to set before me. Does blue go for anything cheeky? I don't think so. Okay. Magenta got all the way to purple. Purple's outer bounds. Blue takes a 1, 2, 5, and you can kill purple here. Wouldn't trade you. Does it anyways. Yeah. All right, the blue kill is on the table. All right, the blue kill is on the table. That was a good game for blue. You shouldn't have done that. Um, I respect blue's game, but I'm sorry to say uh, I have to kill you now. I'm sure you understand. Yes, it is a good game indeed. Yep. Bye. You can get second, uh, Genta. I'm down for you to get second. We have green card blocked. Gun can't actually get deep into me anyways. I dance on green's grave. <laughs> and sorry, blue, shout out to blue. Blue, General Barad, you were good and we worked together fairly well. Um, but if you take a... If you take a highly negative kill, that puts you on five cards, and I can pretty much win the game from that. I would give I would have given blue a second in this game in a heartbeat, right? But wasn't the way the cookie crumbled. Uh, green is going to spend their entire turn in attack because they're angry that their card blocked. 
What you would like to do if you were a respectful person is you would fortify your stack out and try and break the block on you, either mine or magenta's. Or is this him botting? He stays blocked. Gentle move stack off. Pressure green, I figure. Yeah, you know you got second. You're not even trying to address. I'll let Magenta kill green if you can do it quickly enough. I'll just take cards on Magenta slowly. If green bots, we might see Magenta try and get, uh, try and pull some moves, but there's really no way with with me holding this much board. It's a lot of board. All right, folks, you guys want to do a Q&A? Uh, this would be a great time. We got a little dead air, do some Q&A. So this is from the priority Q&A thread. If you are a server booster of the Killbeat Strategy Discord, you get your questions answered in priority. And Mick Horse has taken uh, opportunity of that. So hello, Pete Maron. How you doing, Mick Horse? I've noticed that a lot, in a lot of games, whenever you have an alliance with a player and they do something favorable to you, like in the latest Fixed Friday, uh, Green Gaines Troops out of Europe, you don't show the appreciation towards the action by an alliance heart or thumbs up emote. Is there any reason for that? The only reason I can think of is that you don't want to acknowledge it so you wouldn't owe a favor to that player. I.e., if you don't acknowledge, then you won't owe a favor. Is it that or is it something else? Thank you for your grand work. You're welcome. Um, okay, this is a bot out, right? Looks like he's still here. So it's it's not. It's just an oversight. It's a miss, basically. Like you generally want to continually reinforce your relationships um, with alliances, but I find that you know the 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 thinking, the talking, and the use of the alliances, right? The thinking, the, th the talking, and the negotiating all together result in. Um, obviously missed opportunities. The other thing I'll say about alliances is that, um, the relationships are always temporary, so the idea that I would owe a favor to anyone isn't really something that I believe. Um, and I know a lot of you guys do, and I think humbly that it is a misunderstanding. It's a bit, from my vantage point, naive to assume that any sort of agreement made in, in the game is anything other than very temporary. Um, and the reason I say that is because there can only be one winner. So... Let's not be naive about what that means, right? Let's understand that a deal made is only binding with the caveat always that um, at least any deal I make is binding with a caveat. Every deal has an asterisk and the asterisk says this, unless I think I have a better opportunity to win. I owe you nothing. I owe myself winning the game. You know, and, and from time to time I do ascribe greater ethics. Like I, I do show loyalty to players who earned it, but let's take this game as a great example, right? I would be, I would be beautifully, beautifully loyal to, um, blue 100 times out of a hundred. I would be so favorable to blue. Um, you couldn't imagine, but instead when he was sitting on five cards and I could 
use those resources to progress the game state I did. And I progress it to a state where I win. Not everyone knows how to do that. Sometimes if you lose, then you look like the asshole. Because either you fucked up or what. But fortifies out. Yeah, I just kill you now. Good. You die. Green dies. Um, but it's from from if 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 you were to play play like Pete, or if you were to take my word for it or whatever, um, I would say to you that um any deal made, any obligation, fictional or otherwise, you might feel towards an opponent has that asterisk. Right? Has the implied um has the implication associated with it that that deal is binding up to and including the moment where I think I have a better chance to win by betraying. All right, well, we don't get the world on. Well played and good game, sir. Uh, respect to digging detective. Fun one. 51 minutes on the clock. Defeating. Ooh, high ranked game. Yeah. No wonder everyone survived well. Yellow was the weakest player in the game at beginner. Blue was an intermediate. GG General Brad, we worked very well together. And also, I think if I was yellow, I'd fully expect collab between me and blue. Um, uh, green was an expert, so he wasn't terrible. Um, but I think your key mistake, General Hawkeye, is when you needed to take cards off of me only, you took too many. Right? You made me card block you earlier than I was gonna. <laughs> probably because you were afraid that I was also going to do it, but you caused me to do it. Um, and then purple and magenta were both masters folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you found some of this fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch and for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.